Today I'm going to set the public domain world aflame by revamping the blue flame. Coming to you from parts unknown, it's Van Scapling, talking comics, graphic design, and art. Sit back and enjoy tonight's episode. Hello everybody, this is Vance Capley, VanceCapleyArt.com. Today, I'm going to be taking the public domain one-shot superhero, the Blue Flame, and redesigning him. Now, this is a project I've been working on for quite a while. I wasn't quite sure where to go with this, and then it just kind of dawned on me one night how, uh, what a cool direction this is. And I've already started writing this, so I'm very excited about this one. So let's start off with talking about the original Blue Flame from 1947. This was his first appearance was in Captain Flight number 11, and that was it. This was from uh, Four Star Comics, and he pretty much looked like the Human Torch except blue. So our story starts off with a cop getting injured by this criminal called S. Aiden. Yes, Satan. He looks like Satan. Look how he's drawn. Anyway, Blue Flame shows up on the scene, takes off after the criminal. They have a nice little chase through the city. And then they go into the sewers, finally into the river. The Blue Flame and S. Aiton uh, battle on a boat. And uh, though the Blue Flame recovers the jewels, it appears the villain may have drowned in the river. Or did he? And we'll never know because that story was never finished. When the Blue Flame was not on fire, he ran around in underpants and boots that was his costume he had no secret identity there was no character building and by 47 you know there were they were attempting to make stories make more sense you know kind of give us a little something you know a little more about the character a little bit a uh, little bit more of um about the villain we didn't get that in this of course it was put together very quickly to get it on the stands to sell so, as I was saying, this idea came to me late one night. I was popping popcorn, uh, and I was going to watch a movie on Saturday night. Uh, I think I was going to watch White Zombie, but I can't remember. I was thinking about Blue Flame because I had begun redrawing the comic itself in my own style, as you can see here. This image came into my mind of a cop, 19, about 1976, 78, somewhere in there. He's driving a beat-up 72 Duster. It's blue. And he looks a lot like Michael Imperioli's uh, character from uh, Life on Mars. I think his character was called Fleming. I can't remember. It's kind of this image coming to my head of that. And Lemmy from uh, Motorhead, the rock band Motorhead. And it just all started coming together. And so I started kind of like sketching and stuff. And you can see these sketches here. And I also thought about the actor... Hiroshi Ishikawa from uh, Godzilla vs. Uh, Gigan. Uh, for some reason, I like the way he kind of carried himself and the way his hair was in this uh, picture. I took Michael Imperioli from Life on Mars, Lemmy from Motorhead, and Hiroshi Ishikawa from Godzilla vs. Gigan, combined them, and this is the uh, look I came up with for the character, the main character, the Blue Flame. And I was thinking, blue represents the police, so he is the blue flame. Uh, I thought I'd give him a 38 special, driving a beat-up duster, maybe he smokes Lucky Strikes. Now, what does this have to do with a superhero element? So if this is set in like 76 through 78, somewhere in there, I tried to picture it like a TV show made at that time period. So, limited budget, so you would be able to do a police cop show with this cool looking character but give little elements, little cool things that he could do. Like when you watch Six Million Dollar Man, you all see them getting into some kind of epic battle. It's always small amounts um, used, unless he's fighting behind a Bigfoot, that's another story. But these little elements, but the main focus would be this detective who's kind of a, of course, you have to have this, your loose cannon kind of detective. I like that kind of character anyway. But, you know, he's still, you know, wants to figure out what's going on solve that mystery so whatever the mystery may be of the week you know, get the idea but always have that little element where he could use that blue flame heat power 
in, in whatever situation it's in. Now I've already started writing the first story of this. It's going to take a while to get to this. i got a stack of stuff I'm working on. But I, I really am looking forward to this because I've always wanted to do a 70s cop thing. This is my uh, take on the blue flame from the golden age of comics. I thank you so much for watching and listening to me ramble. Please look after one another. Take care of each other. God bless and good day. Vance Kepley is a self-taught artist who has worked in various mediums including drawing, painting, and graphic design for over 20 years. He now has his designs here on Tee Public, old school, unique, stylish. He is also available to help you with your original Tee Public designs. Make sure you visit Vance Kepley Art 1972 at teepublic.com. You'll be glad you did.